Hi growers, welcome back to the channel. I'm so excited to show you something I have been working on for years. My four season solar passive greenhouse with aquaponics right here in the heart of Quebec. If you've ever dreamed of growing your own food year round, even when it's minus 30 degrees outside, then you're going to want to see this. Let's start with the basics. Why a solar passive greenhouse? Well, the goal is to harness the sun's energy to heat the space naturally, eliminating the need for external heating. In a climate like ours, that's a game changer. It's all about smart design, a concept that works with nature, not against it. The foundation of this whole project is the structure itself. You'll notice the mainframe is built with wood. I chose wood because it's strong, easily available and cheap, and it just has that beautiful, natural look that blends right in. Gives the greenhouse a sturdy, rustic feel that I absolutely love. But the real secret to its insulation isn't just the wood. Come on inside. The walls are actually constructed from insulated steel door panels and fiberglass wool. These aren't your average panels. They have an R value of R17 plus R12 for the wool for a total of R29. And for those who aren't familiar, the R value measures thermal resistance and R29 is fantastic for this application. It means that the precious heat we capture during the day stays inside where we need it instead of leaking out into the cold Quebec night. Now, let's look up. You can see we have a solid metal rooftop on the north side. This is a critical design choice. The north side of any building in the northern hemisphere gets very little direct sunlight, but putting glass there would just be a major point of heat loss. Instead, a well-insulated solid roof acts as a shield, reflecting heat back down into the greenhouse and protecting it from the cold north winds. So, if the north wall is solid, where does the light come from? The entire south-facing wall and part of the roof are made of double-layer polycarbonate panels. Why not glass? Polycarbonate is lighter, more durable, and less prone to breaking from hail or thermal shock. The double layer design creates an air gap in between, which acts as an excellent insulator, much like a double pane window in your house. This lets in all the sunlight we need for the plants to thrive while minimizing heat escape. Sunlight comes in, heats up the air, but what happens when the sun goes down? Air cools down fast. That's where the concept of thermal mass comes into play. And this is my favorite part. See all these large black barrels? They are filled with water. Throughout the day, as the sun beats down, this water slowly absorbs and stores a massive amount of thermal energy. Black is the perfect color because it absorbs the maximum amount of solar radiation. Then, as the evening comes and the temperature inside the greenhouse starts to drop, these barrels begin to radiate all that stored heat back into the space. They act like a battery, but for heat, it's a slow, steady release that keeps the temperature stable and above freezing all night long, without using a single watt of electricity. It's an incredibly simple, yet profoundly effective system. But we didn't stop there. We wanted to create a complete ecosystem. That's why we integrated an aquaponics system right into the greenhouse. Over here, in these red 750 liters tanks, we're raising trout. Yes, fresh trout, right in our backyard all winter long. Here's how it works. The fish produce waste, which is rich in ammonia. A pump circulates this water from the bottom reservoir up into our grow beds, which are filled with gravel. In these beds, beneficial bacteria get to work, converting the ammonia first into nitrites and then into nitrates. And what loves nitrates? The nitrates are the perfect natural fertilizer. The plant roots absorb these nutrients from the water, effectively cleaning and filtering it. The clean water is then returned back to the fish tank, and the cycle begins all over again. It's a closed loop, symbiotic relationship, where the fish feed the plants, and the plants clean the water for the fish. We're growing lettuce, herbs, and tomatoes in these beds, and they are absolutely thriving. It's the most efficient and sustainable way to grow I've ever seen. So, let's recap the whole system. We have a super insulated shell with an R29 value. We have a solid, insulated north roof, to prevent heat loss. We have a massive, south-facing polycarbonate wall to let in maximum sunlight. We have black water barrels acting as a thermal battery to regulate the temperature. And we have an aquaponics system that provides nutrients for our plants and gives us fresh fish that we can eat. All year round in a very cold climate. This greenhouse isn't just a structure. It's a living, breathing ecosystem. 
It's a testament to the fact that with a little bit of planning and a good understanding of nature's principles, you can create a little slice of summer, even in the depths of a Canadian winter. It's about food security, sustainability, and reconnecting with where our food comes from. I hope this tour has inspired you. Building something like this is a journey for sure, but the reward of picking a fresh tomato in the middle of January is absolutely priceless. If you have any questions about the design, the materials, or the aquaponics system, please drop them in the comments below. I love talking about this stuff and would be happy to share more details. Thanks so much for watching today. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more on sustainable living and homesteading projects, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. It really helps us grow. Till next time, happy growing.